Well, that was an awesome day. One of the best things about coming back to the beach is the fish in the back. It's been a really hot day, been out for about six hours, and yeah, basically all the fish are nice and cold because they've been put on ice. So it's really important to put some ice packs in the back of your rear well, use an insulated bag, and your fish will be nice and cold when you get back to the beach and then you can put them in your chilli bin. It's a well known fact that putting your fish on ice will greatly improve the eating quality and also its lifespan after processing. During the many years I have been fishing, ice packs have proven to be one of the best options for the kayak. This is because they remain in their original form after defrosting. Unlike ice, that turns to liquid and can potentially cause stability issues as it moves around the containment area freely. Modern day ice packs also stay frozen for longer periods due to the special additives and gel that's found within them. When you use different ice pack modules within a purpose made bag, the defrost times increase, creating longer lifespan. Plus they can be reused by simply placing back into the freezer after cleaning them. For best results, combine the ice packs with a couple of one litre bottles filled with salt water. Using the two together is really effective because the ice packs lay flat on the floor of the bag and kayak creating a frozen bed that the fish land on when placed in the area. The frozen bottle of salt water assists in cooling the entire area of air and the contents. When out on the water, be sure not to leave the opening of your storage system unsecured longer than necessary, as this will let the cold air out and reduce the ice pack's ability to keep your catch chilled down.